So Roger, Roger Bisbee of Skill Builders, I have a great respect for you, but you have produced a number of items on Rising Damp and we can agree to disagree or we can work together to, to find out what is the real cause of dampness at the base of the wall and what is the best solution. Uh, call it Rising Damp, call it whatever you will. There may be differences in in the way we define rising damp, my definition I think is the same as, as Rick's and the Property Care Association, which is it's groundwater at the base of the wall that rises through capillary action or absorption, call it what you will. And I do believe that bricks can draw up water. I'm, well, actually, as a background, I come from a state agency at one stage and we lost between 6 and 10% of transactions because of rising damp treatment recommendations. And it costs an estimated one to two billion pounds of missing economic benefit to this country, GDP, call it what you will, through the misdiagnosis of rising damp. In my opinion, but you can prove me wrong and I'm really happy to be proven wrong. Uh, so I think there are three elements to it is, what what is the, what is the cause of the dampness? What is the best solution to the dampness? And what should the public know about rising damp and how to identify it? And what I'm recommending is that we go on a survey together. I have a lot of clients that get in touch with me. They pay for me to go to their properties to resolve the problem. And, it, and if it didn't work, they'd soon come back to me. And I haven't had a single case of rising damp in eight years. So uh, if we go to a, a client, I recommend one that's a recent purchase and therefore has some experience of the property, has the time and place to allow us around. They're just after the, the root cause and they're not desperate for a time to, to close the, the deal off. I think perhaps if we meet up in two o'clock in the afternoon in April when we got plenty of light and we can sit down and go through it together and come to a agreed uh, diagnosis and an agreed solution. I will invite the PCA and Ricks. I don't expect them to want to be represented and anyone else that's interested, please make comments. We can add it to it. I always get clients to use data loggers and, and ideally for a week beforehand so we can see what the vapour levels are in the property at the base of the wall. So yeah, really, really keen to work together and let's make 2025 the year that we solve this problem. It is probably the single biggest issue that faces people in their, their properties, rising damp and mould, the two biggest issues. So here's a quick video I took at a class property, I managed to save the sale by going through with the buyer and showing all the real problems and how to solve them uh, six years ago and no problem since. Yeah, so we're selling a property um, and our buyer um, was recommended to get a damp specialist um, in because there was some, um, as you can see here, just a little bit of um, mould in this corner um, and there was one small patch in the other um, corner in the dining room and uh, her surveyor had highlighted a couple of sort of high um, meter readings. Um, so she instructed um, the company to come in um, and provide um, a quote, a survey, and then a quote of how much um, money would need to be spent and what works would need to be done. Um, and um, she was quoted about £5,000 worth of work. Um, and as a result, understandably, she pulled out of the property um, because she didn't want to complete the works and the amount of um, uh, works that they'd highlighted um, and the amount of money that she'd have to spend, she just wasn't prepared to do. They'd um, stated that there was a high risk of dry rot, um, even though they couldn't get to the timbers under the floor. They'd um, specified that we would have to pull up our flooring that we'd um, put in last year to get to it. Um, so understandably, a lot of work that she would have had to do and she therefore pulled out of the property. At this point, we thought what's going to happen. Um, Simon very kindly came around um, and did a completely independent survey. Um, he spent two hours in our property, investigated everything, um, and he came back and said it was nothing more than a condensation issue. Um, and actually, it would 
be a few hundred pounds to rectify by putting in two additional air bricks and an extractor fan and actually um, provided us with some really helpful advice on how to adapt things that we were doing in order to prevent condensation. Um, so as I said, we you know we don't know what's going to happen now. Simon showed our way around, whether or not she changes her mind and decides to purchase the property, um, we're unsure of at the minute, but if anything else, he's prevented us from spending £5,000 worth of money um, for, you know, works that we didn't need to do to our property. So, thank you very much. So, Roger, I look forward to making 2025 the year that we solve the rising damp problem together once and for all. And yes, I'm not against damp proof courses. I think it's a good idea as a belt and braces just in case the rainwater goods fail. And yes, I'm not against siloxane. There is a, a, a place for it in the arsenal of tools that anyone can use. But rising damp treatment, uh, specifically the slurry at the base of the wall, I don't think it should ever be used. And uh, But let's get to the bottom of it. I'm open-minded. Thanks. See you soon.